fans we're here with another arcade game but this one a little bit different we're not playing this one in Maine we're playing this one in Daphne because this is a very early entry in the battle to get arcade laser disc games onto the market meet Astron Belt by Sega it made it to the arcades in 1983 after a long development curve uh, longer than Dragon Slayer, in fact. However, Dragon Slayer made it into the arcades first. So, many regard it as the first Laserdisc game when Astron Belt had actually been in the works longer. Now, Astron Belt is perhaps a bit more ambitious because it attempts to marry computer graphics with pre-recorded video footage in the background. There are degrees of technological sophistication there that just don't exist in Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer is very much a kind of a, you know, pull the joystick the right way at the right time experience. You kind of have to keep your hands in the rails at all times on Dragon Slayer. Whereas this allows the computer to throw you a few curveballs, but not very many, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. One thing you'll notice is that, oh, hey, there's some Star Trek II footage, something which I guarantee you Sega got a very sweet deal on, perfectly legally, because at the time, Sega, very much like Paramount Pictures, was a Gulf Western company. Good. I blew something up. Now, I guarantee you how this works from a coding perspective is that there are transparent pixels or clusters of pixels matched up to individual pieces of footage on the laser disc. So that's either what you have to shoot or what you have to avoid hitting. This is a part of the game where you are trying at least not to collide with the canyon walls. Oh good, something to blow up. Uh, something else to blow up. The majority of the footage comes from a 1979 Toei science fiction film from Japan called Message from Earth. suddenly the when I refer to Astron Belt having a greater level of technological sophistication than Dragon's Lair there's a whole different raft of technology present in Astron Belt than there is in Dragon's Lair that has to do with putting computer generated characters over the top of recorded video footage. The technology specifically in video production terms was called Genlock, and while it was not in its infancy in 1983, it was still pretty young. And so you not only have, you know, the finicky technology that is laser disc built into every machine, you also have to genlock your computer generated ships and the assorted invisible targets that you have to hit or miss. You have to genlock that and put it over 
the footage. play I get, I'm sure you've noticed the timer at the bottom of the screen that uh, it's really intended to keep any one player from camping out on the machine for very long Ugh, back in the canyon again I got killed by a beeping thing. So, there you have it again. The pre-recorded video footage, because it was pre-recorded, offered very little in the way of interactivity. And so there wasn't much the game could offer you in terms of a new experience with real replay value other than just randomizing which video sequences and therefore sequence of events was taking place within that scene. Sega spent so much time and so much money on this game that by the time it made it to market you see there, Bally Midway Presents. Um, Bally Midway had bought Sega's American operations by the time this game came out. So it is a Sega game, but it was, uh, you know, it was Sega Bally Midway, which was, you talk about strange bedfellows in the 80s arcade business. So, a bit of an evolutionary cul-de-sac. Laserdisc games, you know, Laserdisc background footage was a concept that they kept trying to get right into the, you know, very earliest part of the 1990s. And I think by that point, PC gaming had made it clear that uh, the computer ability to generate more photorealistic visuals was just around the corner. In terms of the development and history of video games, the Laserdisc games were really more of a distraction than anything. Kind of a, a dead end off the main highway. So there you have it. Astron Belt from 1983, a style of game that just didn't last too terribly long. We'll be back with more again later. <laughs>